choice. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And we welcome you to this Sunday service, and we welcome New Journey to be with us this morning. We can do that. A couple of announcements before we start with this morning's service. Following this service is our rally day and picnic, and all of you are welcome to come and join us. Um, it saves you from cooking at home. So come and join us and have a wonderful meal. On Thursday, grief share at 7 o'clock. Well, choir practice is on Wednesday. Grief share is on Thursday. Then next Sunday at 8 o'clock and 10.15, we have our services. I'm going to be off for two weeks. Reverend Augie Twig will be preaching next Sunday. And the following Sunday, his wife, Reverend Amy Twig, will be preaching. Uh, and the services are going to be fabulous. So please come and support them and join them and, uh, and celebrate with them as well. I'm going to turn it over to Joy. Good morning. Our member to remember this week is Jody White. So if you didn't have a chance to sign the card on the action table as you came in, please do so as you leave today. This is a message from the office. In your September packet of offering envelopes that you received, there are, there are several special UMC designated envelopes. You can disregard those envelopes. But may I suggest that the money that you were going to put in those envelopes, you know, you just included in with your regular offering. Just a thought, just a thought. And I think we're having the foam machine today for the kids. Wow, oh, we, we got confirmation for that. So kids, you're in for a treat. You forgot, it's, uh, adults can participate too. We have extra towels for you. If you did not receive your September Faith Flyer in the mail, we have extra copies available for you in the gathering area. If you'd like to get on our mailing list, just call the office and provide your name and address. We're still looking for a few more AV volunteers to help out with running the slides and the soundboard during the worship service. Just contact Colton or Melissa Kalmar. Sunday school started today, so I hope everybody had a great time. And let's see here. Tyler Patterson is working on his Eagle Scout project. If you've not had a chance to see it yet, uh, go out onto the porch and turn left 
He's built this awesome structure that we're going to put our cordwood in so that we can continue our bonfires throughout the year. And then I think after today, after the party today, he's going to start putting the, the, the paving stones around the fire pit. So we're looking forward to that, Tyler. Our next Visions and Dreams Fellowship event is on Thursday, October 12th at 5.30. It's taco and trivia night, and there's a sign-up sheet on the action table. Our pastor appreciation potluck luncheon is Sunday, October 22nd, and all are welcome to attend. And if you'd like to knit or crochet, our women of faith are looking for some help needed with making uh, prayer shawls. And the contact person is Cindy Plants, and that information is in your bulletin. We have a small group ministry starting this Wednesday morning at 10 a.m., and Marilyn Holtz will be leading that. And if you don't know where Marilyn lives, she lives right across the street here. It's, it's going to be very convenient to get to. You can park in the parking lot and just walk over to our house. And the, they're doing a life guide study on angels. What is an angel? We have a cornhole tournament coming up on Sunday, October 15th at 12 noon. Apparently, it's a bye week for the Steelers, so you have no reason not to participate. <laughs> there is a sign-up sheet on the action table. We continue to collect items, toys for our Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. And we will be packing care boxes for our college students and active military members. I currently have two college students that will be receiving boxes. Uh, parents, grandparents, you have until Friday to provide us with, with the addresses. Our, uh, I still need volunteers for our operation grab and go food distribution. That's on Monday, October 9th. It's around at 3.30 in the afternoon. We do it in the parking lot, rain or shine. And there's a sign up sheet on the action table. And we're going to start helping out the Lowe's and Fishes Emergency Food Pantry. There's a list of items in your bulletin, and there's a bin in the gathering area for you to bring items in. And if you have any extra unused eyeglasses around, could be uh, sunglasses, reading glasses, uh, there is a box in the gathering area that we will be collecting those items in. And I think that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. Any other announcements? It's good to see everyone this morning. If there are no other announcements, let's listen to the prelude as we focus our thoughts on God. Thank you, Christine. 
Let's stand and join in the call to worship, please. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty power. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with trumpet and sound. Praise Him with flute and harp. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with Let everything that breathe praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord as we sing. Please remain standing as we sing, Shine, Jesus, Shine. Shine, Jesus, Shine. God is good. 
As we go to God in prayer this morning, we have, again, an extensive prayer list that we'd like to be praying for uh, in our personal prayers and in our corporate prayers as the Church of Jesus Christ. And certainly we want to lift up Michelle and Shannon and Melissa in our prayers that God would bless you and fill you with his grace as you present and, and do God's work here today. I would ask that you would pray for the following individuals. For the family of Carolyn Ellen, uh, uh, Carolyn passed away and we continue to uplift. Uh, she was a member of First Church in, uh, I believe, Murraysville, and we extend our blessings to the Allen family. For Gail on hospice, pray for Gail, her sister, and caregiver Beth. And I had the opportunity of, of, of being with Gail the other day and praying and anointing her, so pray for her. For 24-year-old Alexandria, uh, traveling to Ukraine to meet her biological mother for the first time, keep her safe, and may this meeting be truly a godly meeting. For Brenda, diagnosed with cancer and a thyroid and lymph nodes. For Lucy Ames, as Cindy Weaver's mother, was placed on hospice last week. She's 96 years old, and we surround her with God's amazing grace. For Pete Cordera, he was severely injured in a motorcycle accident. Uh, he will be undergoing surgery to repair a sh shattered pelvic, broken knee, and other injuries, and he was life flighted to Presbyterian Hospital. Continued prayers for Rebecca Oblack, and she's with us this morning. She has a new pacemaker, and God is good. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> for Megan Wiggins' family, Megan's mother passed away. Her name was Leanne Blackham. So we uplift Megan, the Wigan family, and the Blackham family in our prayers and pray God's blessings upon them. Also continue prayers for Dan Lockery. Uh, he's receiving rounds of chemo. It's making him sick. Uh, that God would fill him with his grace and eradicate the cancer. And also we pray for his mother, Jean, as she continues to make her journey through life. These are the prayer requests that came in this morning for Julie Ge uh, Gregor. Geiger. Brain cancer has returned after one year. And we surround Julie with God's amazing healing grace, and we pray for God's will to be done. For Amy P., just diagnosed with cancer, and we uplift Amy in our prayers. For Stephanie, for safe travels to Spain and Paris next week, and we surround her with God's amazing grace. For Karen, knee replacement surgery tomorrow, we pray for her surgeon, her anesthesiologist, for everyone who has a part in her healing. For Cecilia Cernelager, she is a preemie, a preemie baby fighting for her life at Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh, and we just pray that God would touch her and bless her and allow her to live her life. Yesterday, my cousin Donna Jones was buried, and her service was yesterday, so I would ask that you would pray for the Raptosh family and the Jones family. About three weeks ago, Donna had called me asking for prayers for her son Donovan, and my cousin Andrew, that's her brother. And my cousin Andrew has mouth cancer and he is not doing well. So pray for my cousin Andrew and the Raptosh family again, and also for her son Donovan. Also an unspoken prayer request for a death of a father and our Christian sympathies to this family. Also we uplift Dick and Pat Bush in our prayers, Pat's receiving chemo, and we pray, and she's coming along rather well and we just continue that uh, God would bless her. What about unspoken prayer requests with the uplift of hands, please? Thank you. Let's go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this celebration of music. Thank you for allowing us to come into this holy, sacred place. Gathered together as the body of Jesus Christ, the church of Jesus Christ, to praise you, to worship you, to love you, and to be in relationship with our brothers and sisters in Christ. And together we raise our voices in song and praise. We raise our souls and our minds to you during our prayer time. And as we hear your word through music, touch us and bless us and convict us and forgive us. 
We pray for Michelle and Shannon and Melissa that you touch them and bless them to be able to reach out to this congregation and to those that are watching at home, live streaming. That the gospel of Jesus Christ, the message of Jesus Christ can continue to be heard and to be felt and lives can be changed. Allow your Holy Spirit to consume this sanctuary and to touch in each and every one of us. And I know there are people out in the parking lot listening. Touch them as well, Father. And may this day truly be a day of adoration and joy and happiness. And may this day bring honor and praise unto you. Father God, forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our worldly ways. And cleanse us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. And our sins are forgiven. Now that we are worthy, we we come into your presence and ask that you would hear our spoken and unspoken prayer requests. All the names that have been called out this morning, the unspoken prayer requests, Those in our bulletin, touch them, bless them, heal them. Those in nursing homes and hospitals, those who are at home who can't get out, bless them and heal them, Father. We continue to pray for our world and pray for peace. There is so much violence and hatred. We pray, Father, that you touch the church of Jesus Christ and that the church of Jesus Christ would no longer be divided but to gather together, united again. Use the bishops, use those in leadership positions to be able to guide the church and to touch people's lives. We pray for our church, Faith Global Methodist Church, to bless us as we reach out to our community and to the world. And we pray, Father, that after this service, we congregate together and we can share a meal. May Jesus Christ be present at our table. Thank you, dear God. Thank you for blessing us today. We ask all these blessings in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let's stand and praise God with the doxology, please. Are you ready to hear New Journey? I think we need to hear New Journey this morning. Come and come and sing for us.
circumstance surrounding me is not the place I choose to be. God is working for my good. I'm going to trust him like I should. I'm in the middle of a miracle, right in the center of the Father's will. change before my eyes. My expectations are so great. You move but I can hardly wait. I'm in the middle of a miracle, right in the center of the Father's will. Might not see it, but I know it's true. Just kicking around our words. I'm kicking the words around. We're just going to do a real introduction of this thing. Yeah, well, wait till Jeffrey comes up. No, nah, that's later. Oh, all right, wait. Okay. <laughs> My husband's back there. He's running our sound. I'll introduce him later. But uh, real fast, who here has not ever seen us, New Journey, before? Raise your hands. Ooh, wow. wow. A lot of you. Liars. You just heard two songs. <laughs> Liars. <laughs> I'm singing that song later. You know what I'm laughing at? I love this. But I got married in December, and I haven't seen Shannon Pantlinger in nine months. And I was like, who's that? <laughs> but I love that. Um, so we are New Journey. My name is Shannon Cabot. My husband back there, Jeffrey, is running our sound. You'll see him in a little bit. He sings a song with us. Um, he's the shorty six foot six guy that will be on stage in a little while. Um, and this is my mom to my right here, Michelle Tantlinger. And, and I'm not six foot six. No. Next to him, it's hysterical. Um, and my dad in the back, Von Tantlinger, he's a roadie and sound guy. And then my aunt over here, Melissa Tressler, and I think I saw Uncle Pat. Yeah, yeah he's back there. Yes, and her husband's back there as well. Uh, we are from all around here. Uh, Jeffrey and I live in Murraysville, Ligonier, and Mount Pleasant. So um, we were here last November, and I was just engaged at that point. And I remember... Um, I, don't, I actually don't remember meeting this person. I think our number one fan is here. Janet Bolog? Where are you, Janet? Are you here? Is she here? She has commented on every post on Facebook, so excited to come see us. So I really hope if you're out there or somewhere in the church, please come meet us because I would love to meet you. Um, it's always nice getting people, like, really pumped to come for, for us to come to their church. Um, it's it's exhausting at times, so it's really nice to have you guys come introduce yourselves and talk to us, and uh, um, we would love to just be able to meet you all. So, go ahead. Yeah, so we are singing in Dollywood on the 24th, so pray for us, because we're doing four shows in one day, and that's, that's a lot, and it's exhausting. So, um, keep us in your prayers. But last time we sang at Dollywood, we had people come up to us and say, you girls sound like the McGuire sisters. Does anybody out there know who those are? No. Well, don't get too excited. They're not here. Um, it's just us. But because of that, we um, started to sing this song, and it's on our brand new CD. Our brand new CD out there came in the mail last week. That's how new it is. So you're the you first the, church. You are the first yeah. church here. Um, so we, this song we put on, and it's from 1955, and there is a, 
a line in it says, though it makes him sad to see the way we live. Can you imagine the writer in 1955 if that person actually saw what our world is today? How sad do we make God now? But the last line says, he'll always say, I forgive. The song is peace. This is another new song that we have, and I picked it out because I think it's a fun song. And you know, there are times in all of our lives, us up here included, that Satan whispers in our ear and tells us lies. Does he not? You're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You're not pretty enough. Your hair's not good enough. You're, you're not, you can't sing. You can't cook right. I mean, there, he puts lies in all of our ears, all of ours. But this song lets us remind him of his future. I'm going up, he's not. This song says liar, liar. I've heard him tell me that I'm not enough. And no matter how hard I try, I'll never measure up. And whisper that you can't be loved With a voice as cold as ice And a crooked tongue, crooked tongue. 
But the devil, his words are poison. Ain't nothing but a bunch of noise. And you might as well get behind me. And in case he needs reminding, he's a liar, a liar. Headed for a lake of fire. He's a liar, a liar. Headed for a lake of fire. You can't believe a word coming out of his mouth. I'm headed north and he's headed south. Cause he's a liar, liar. Headed for a lake of fire. When you're face to face with the enemy, tell him about the blood and the cross of Calvary. Take him to the empty tomb where he lost his feet. Remind him he's been defeated and he's under your feet. Cause he's a liar, a liar, headed for a lake of fire. He's a liar. See? 
really fast. Um, my husband's going to be coming up and joining us. We, like I said, we just got married last December. Hi, I'm the husband. He's the husband. This is Jeffrey. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, before we kick off this next song, uh, I just wanted to say we do have a product table in the back. We would love for you to come back, even if it's to pick up the free prayer card. That is the most important thing is prayer. So please come back. Say hello to us. We have CDs, including our brand new one. So a lot of songs from today are going to be on that album. Uh, we also have USBs. Um, I have a solo album. There's about, I think there's seven total now back there, seven total CDs. Um, and we have USBs for them all. Uh, we have T-shirts. Um, if you've ever heard of the show called The Chosen, we do have the DVDs on our table. I work for the company that distributes them, Angel Studios. So I'm a huge uh, supporter of The Chosen. Um, if you haven't heard of it, it's a story of Jesus and the followers um, and people he interacted with. It's an amazing TV series. So come back, ask me questions about it. Uh, we have lots of random other things like fans and hats and stuff. So just come back, say hey, and uh, if you have any questions about what's up back there, uh, we'll be, like to chat with you about it. Um, so yeah, this is Jeffrey, short guy. Um, <laughs> when we got uh, when we started dating, uh, one of the first things we really connected on was one, he loved Jesus, I love Jesus, and we both sing. So it's the perfect match, in my opinion. So we uh, threw this song on the album, and I would love for you guys to just clap along with us. Let me say something real quick. Okay. Um, three days before this concert last year, when we, were, when we were engaged but not yet married, I witnessed a homicide in my office building about 15 feet from me. Seeing what happened this morning, and I'm, I'm glad she's okay, just shows how precious and unexpected that this life is. And there is a God and there is a Savior who is out there who loves us so much. We don't know how many days, how many hours, how many years, how many minutes that we have on this planet. But get ready to spend eternity with him. And the beautiful thing about that is that we don't have to do this legalistic stuff that, that they talk about. You don't have to say the rosary 400 times. You don't have to do anything other than accept God's gift that's already been granted to you. We are destined for hell, but our Lord and Savior gave us a way out of it. Amen? So accept that gift. I, I, I was not going to say anything today, but after witnessing that and remembering last year at this time, it's precious. Um, the, the, the book of Genesis, the sixth verse in, um, is a story of Noah. And it talks about how people were simply living their lives, and they were eating, and they were drinking, and they were getting married. You know, all these terrible things, right? Uh, no, how dare you eat, drink, and get married? But they were sinful. And God had, to the point, regretted creating humanity. And God wiped them out. What are people doing today? They're eating. They're drinking. They're getting married. We're sinning. And a lot of people don't know Jesus. But God is coming. We don't know the hour or the minute. There are signs. But if you don't know Jesus this morning, there's an opportunity to get to know him today. Just figure that stuff out. Um, we are transitioning to too, too fast song. Go ahead, sweetie. Bye. I'm Jeff. Nice to meet y'all. Here we go. Put your hands together. Abraham believed the holy promise. Noah had the faith to build an ark. Elijah called the fire down from heaven. Daniel trusted God with all his heart. Moses led God's children out of Egypt. Following the one who knows the way. Peter had the courage to start walking. And just like them, I'm stepping out in faith. I'm stepping out in faith. I'm walking on the water, trusting in the Father, knowing he'll be with me all the way. I'm stepping out in faith. The winds will blow against me. I will claim the victory. Resting in his all-sufficient grace. I'm stepping out, stepping out in faith. Oh, I don't have to fear what comes tomorrow or know exactly what the future holds. 
For the God of all creation goes before me And I can rest assured he's in control So I'll just keep on walking on this journey Following the one who knows the way And though sometimes my faith may start to waver I'll take that leap, I'm stepping out in faith I'm stepping out in faith I'm walking on the water Trusting in the Father Knowing He'll be with me all the way I'm stepping out in faith The winds will blow against me I will claim the victory Resting in His all-sufficient grace I'm stepping out Stepping out in faith, I'm walking on the water, trusting in the Father, knowing He'll be with me all the way. I'm stepping out in faith, the winds will blow against me, I will claim the victory, resting in His all sufficient grace. Stepping out, stepping out in faith, I'm walking on the water. Trusting in the Father, the winds will blow against me. I will claim the victory. I'm walking on the water. Trusting in the Father, knowing He'll be with me all the way. I'm stepping out, stepping out in faith. In I'm up in the rafters on that song. Don't know if you know it or not. Come on down. Woo! What's next, anyway? Well, we're going to slow it down here, but it's a song that you guys know, and we'd love for you to sing along with it. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. And all my days, I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Sing it with this. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am faithful Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led through the fire in darkest nights you are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend and I have lived in the goodness of God and all Oh, I 
Now's your time to participate in the service. This song talks about how many times in the past you have seen God do miracle after miracle and blessing and blessing and blessing. There's been times in your life, if you stop and think about it, things, random things that you can now see God's hand in when you look back. David encouraged himself in the Lord. David encouraged himself in the Lord, not because he didn't have people around him that could encourage him, but to have the gift of encouraging yourself before the Lord in those times when you're down, in those times when you start listening to those Satan lies and, and you're not kicking them out of your mind fast enough and doubt starts to creep in. The way to encourage yourself before the Lord is to remember every blessing that he has ever done for you, every time he was faithful to you. Just repeat that over and over and say amen. So we're going to practice, okay? I'm going to count to three. I want everybody to say amen. One, two, three. We're all on a journey, and we're called to walk by faith. There'll always be the mountains and valleys in our way. But right here in this moment, may our strength be renewed. As we recall what God has done and how we've seen him move. If there's anybody here who's found him faithful, anybody here who knows he's able, say amen. If there's anybody here who's seen his power, anybody here brought through the fire, say amen. Anybody here? Joy in the midst of sorrow, peace in the storm, hope for tomorrow, and you've seen it time and time again. Just say hard to see, but be bold and courageous, and follow where he leads. Greater is the one who's in us than he who's in the world. 
a child of God, remember the battle is the Lord's. If there's anybody here who's found him faithful, anybody here who knows he's able, say amen. If there's anybody here who's seen his power, or anybody here brought through the fire, say amen. Anybody here found joy in the midst of sorrow, peace in the storm, hope for tomorrow, and you've seen it time and time again, just say amen, just stand and testify of the greatness of God in our If there's anybody here who's found him faithful, anybody here who knows he's able, say amen. If there's anybody here who's seen his power, anybody here brought through the fire, say amen. Anybody here? Joy in the midst of sorrow, peace in the storm, hope for tomorrow, and you see it time and time again. Just say amen. Just say amen. Just We sang a lot of songs about how faithful God is and encouraging ourselves in the faithfulness of God. We've talked about how in the face of trials and tribulation, in the fear that we might have to have peace in knowing that God's already there. But it would be an injustice for New Journey to go into a church and not extend you to accept this Christ if you've never accepted him before you don't know the peace that we're talking about you don't know the way to encourage yourself you've never really gave Jesus a second chance today can be different today can be your chance to turn it all over the one song we sang uh, glory of God goodness of God the one song goodness of God the one part, I've been a singer all my whole life, and singing words means something to me. And if I can't sing, if I can't honestly in my heart sing those words, I can't sing them. And in that song, it talks about laying it down before God, totally surrendering. How many times do we sing those words and don't even think twice? Are we really laying it down? Are we laying our burdens down or are we picking them back up and carrying them? We wonder why we're so weary. We wonder why we're so tired. That's because we're carrying burdens that we don't need to carry. God died on the cross not only for our salvation, for our healing, for our peace. He sent a comforter. The Holy Spirit is a comforter to be with us. But if we keep trying to do his job and carry the burdens, we're going to get weak, wore down, and that's when Satan attacks the most, is when we're vulnerable and we're tired. So there is an opportunity for you to lay it all down and accept everyone would just bow their heads. If you
you don't know this Jesus and you'd like to turn your life over to him today, just say a deepest breath. Dear Heavenly Father, I know I'm a sinner. I know you came, you died, and rose again. And I accept you as my personal Savior. I know you love me. Amen. It is that easy. Do you know why the world makes it complicated? Because they can't fathom the idea that something so precious could be as easy as asking for forgiveness. It's that easy. So as of today, whatever burden you've been carrying, lay it at the foot of the cross. The key is don't pick it up. That's the key. Men and women, moms especially, well, dads, too. They're fixers. They take care of things. If something needs done, they do it. They take care of it. It's hard for us to realize that we have a heavenly Father that can fix it and take care of it all. And most of the time when we find ourselves in a mess, it's because we're trying to do God's job for him. So, I saw a bunch of hands earlier for prayer requests on children. So let's just pray real quick one more time over everyone who's in the church today. Dear Heavenly Father, I bring this church before you. I thank you for this church where your word is spoken and salvation plan is being laid out for them. I pray for the pastor. This church has an amazing pastor. I pray that this church would continue to draw people in. I pray that every single person that had a burden today that can mentally and physically emotionally lay it down before you, God, and pick up the peace of knowing you're always going to be with me. You're always going to take care of me. And yes, it matters. In your name we pray. Amen. We're going to do one last song.
You can be seated for a second. <clears throat> Would you like to introduce your mom and dad? Are they here? Yeah, sure. Have a stand up here. So I don't know if you all know, but we, Missy and I are sisters, and we sang for 30 years with our parents with the gospel raised. My dad's still willing to be <laughs> <laughs> because they called him Mr. Ray, but it's not that reason. God's okay. Ray is Anyway, this is Ray Yutzi and my mom, Audrey Yutzi. And, and here's a joke Dad tells. He's Ray, and she's Audrey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and a seed was planted a yes. long time ago, and God used you. And God is using you, the three of you. It must have been about a year and a half ago, a little over a year and a half ago, I received a phone call from my cousin Larry Raptosh. And Larry, if you're watching, God bless you. And he said, you've got to hear this group, New Journey. And it must have been within a month that I received this CD in the mail from your group. And it wasn't from my cousin, it was from you. And I, I hurry up and called my cousin, and I said, is this the group that you're talking about? And he said, it is. And I immediately called Michelle. And Michelle wasn't having a very good day, if you remember that day. Michelle and I talked, and Michelle has an autoimmune disease. She had rheumatoid arthritis, and we started talking about hers and my wife's, and we had something in common. And she also told me that I believe it was that day that she was diagnosed with MS that same day and we talked and we prayed and they came and they sang for us in November and they came and they sang for us today God is using you in spite of diseases and everything else going on in our world God is using you I would ask that you would raise your hands where's the other God's, where, where's the other New Journey members Can come on down here we're going to pray for you where's Shannon at Come on down. Jeff, if you can come down too, that would be awesome. I can push you off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And mom and dad's here. Is there anybody else you'd like to have come down? Vaughn, Pat. Come on down. Our husbands come because they're part of this ministry. Yes, they are. Come on down. We are so blessed today. Just so blessed. And I would ask that you would be kind enough to just raise your hand and point it toward them. And we're going to pray for you. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks and praise. We thank you for Michelle and Shannon and Melissa. For everyone who's part of this, her family, her friends. And we thank you, dear God, for Michelle, in spite of her autoimmune diseases, with, in spite of MS, in spite of rheumatoid arthritis, here you are today doing the work of God. Here you are today chasing Satan and putting him back in his place, saying to him, you will not deter me for what God has planned for me. And you are blessing people each and every day of your life and the lives of each of you. May God heal you and may God's grace be upon you, in you, through you, and around you, all of you, in particular Michelle. And may you raise your voices in song and praise to God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And no matter where you go, may lives be touched as you have touched the lives here today. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon each of you and grant you peace. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Will you join me in singing Alleluia? Just one verse. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Go in peace. Amen. I have, can I say something real quick? Yes. I don't usually talk. I'm that she literally, she can't get up. She can't move her fingers. Her hands are closed like that. If any of you know anything about RA, it is absolutely a debilitating thing. As the brother said, don't stop. Just say Satan, as Michelle's favorite saying, not today. If it's for you or if it's for a loved one, Lord already won the victory, guys. Yes. So I, I just, I'm telling you, she's an inspiration to me like you wouldn't believe. To be able to see someone and then be able to get up there and smile like she does, that's a testament to me as a husband. But I, I just thank you guys. This, this church has a spirit in it. Like a lot of you may not recognize, we go to some churches and the girls will tell you, it's like singing to, yeah, <laughs> singing to gravestones, a wall. Just smile. That's all they ask. Just smile, and you guys did great. I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but that was just an incredible service. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this, this celebration of music. Thank you for New Journey. And thank you for taking us back to the gospel rays, because I remember them back in the day. We pray, Father, that as we come together and gather around our tables, that you would bless the food and bless the hands that have prepared it. Bless this food to our use, O Lord, and us to thy service. Make us ever mindful of the needs of others. In his precious name we ask and pray. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Manja, manja. Go in peace.